Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am doing my Nate's Art Lab collab today. I'm really excited. Um, I, if you don't know it, I started a Patreon group called Nate's Art Lab. And one of the benefits is that we do a monthly collaboration together. Um, I provide a theme and we all uh, work on it together. Uh, last month's was a lot of fun, but this month I took it easy on everybody because um, uh, Saturday, April 22nd is Earth Day. So um, I said do anything that um, is related to growing things. So flowers, landscapes, anything that reminds you of something that's growing with wild roots. So that's the theme this month is wild roots. And um, I have decided that for my piece, I'm going to do uh, a reverse flower dip in the style of Fiona of Fiona Art. Um, I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so I'm excited to do this again. Um, I have the exact same little dessert cup that she uses, uh, and I have a 16 by 16 inch canvas, and it is on my spinner that I uh, got from Jessica Winterstrom from Winterstrom Art. And I am going to put down a base coat of black. This is Chrome Acrylic, Acrylic Essentials in black. And then I also have, um, this is a mix of Deco Art 24 karat gold and uh, Chroma Molten Metals Dorado Gold. You can see my consistency there is fairly thick, leaves a mound on a mound. This, um, the gold is a little bit thicker than the other colors because I don't want it to float on top and, and create a, a gold um, layer over the whole thing. My metallic is a little bit thicker. But the other paints here, this is, um, Amsterdam's greenish blue. It does still leave a mound on a mound. And then this is uh, Golden's uh, Permanent Violet Deep and also leaving a nice mound on a mound. So it's still fairly thick. And then I have what I hope is the magic concoction. <laughs> um, this is a mix of Amsterdam Titanium White and uh, Joe Sonia um, Pearl Medium, I'm sorry, Vallejo Pearl Medium, and then my pouring medium tonight uh, is uh, two parts Floetrol to one part PVA glue, and in the pearl white only, I've added uh, a little bit, a splash of um, uh, Australian Floetrol. I want to try and get some uh, cells and lacing when I do my reverse dip. And I don't have all the same ingredients that Fiona has, so I'm gonna try this out and see if we can get that. Um, I'm actually going to do two canvases tonight. Uh, this one I will do the reverse dip on, and this one I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm not going to dip it. I'm just gonna let the pattern, um, I'll spin the pattern out and see if we can get something interesting without the dip part. So. That's what I'm going to do. I have my smack stick that I'm going to wreck the lines with. I have an OXO spatula that I will be using to spread the paint on there. And I think I'm ready to go. Oh, um, I also wanted to explain that uh, this is a 16 by 16 inch canvas. I don't have a paper napkin big enough, but I found at my craft store these really thin um, bandanas and they're kind of the same weight as a paper napkin. So I have um, dampened this up with a spray bottle so it's a little bit damp, but it's not wet. Uh, it's just damp. So uh, I did that because, it, because it's a fabric, it was very stiff and I wanted it to um, be a lot more flexible. So that's what I'll be using to do the dip with. But to start off here, we're going to put down my, the layer of black and then we're going to add on the color. So we'll start with this. Sugar, 
why you look so sad Come on now, mama Ain't nothing here so bad You got fast cars, movie stars Party on down the street With Mary Jane, good cocaine Plenty down there Double down, throw some dice Take off now, don't think twice But hey, don't you want to play
sat there alone on the highway. She had a broken wing, she's trying to hang. And I was much too old to act on a feeling. But then again, I ain't never. So here we have the wet results of, this is the, uh, the reverse dip. I did get some cells of lacing in this. I'm really happy that happened. Um, this one, I, I love the way that the, um, look at this transparency. I'm gonna move over here to get out of the shadow. Look at the transparency that happened over here. That's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. It's very soft and elegant. Look at the transparency there. That is neat this little river of color coming out from the center, little balloon dip in the, in the middle. Look at the layering there. Beautiful cells and lacing. I'm very happy with this, I really like it. I wish I'd gotten a little more of the lacing. Um, I used way too much paint, <laughs> which is not a surprise. Oh, that's great transparency there too. Love it. Um, 
Uh, so when I spun it out, I lost all of my negative space, but that's okay. I lost it on both of them. Um, I didn't learn my lesson, but so this is the, the reverse dip, which is gorgeous. I love it. Uh, and this is the one done exactly the same way. I just didn't dip it, but I did wreck it a lot more. So let me take you in for a close up here. That center is gorgeous also. Look at that. That's beautiful. And these little wrecked lines coming out. So in this one, uh, the pearl white and the gold are much more dominant. The blue and the violet are more accent colors in it. Um, but I'm not mad about it either. I used exactly the same color, exactly the same pattern. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. I, I think I might like this one better. It's really cool. Uh, I love the, the, the wrecked lines in this going both directions. Really, really nice. So once again, there's the reversed flower dip and there's the wrecked flower. So which one do you prefer? I think I like this one better, but you let me know, number one or number two, which you prefer, and uh, stay tuned for the dry result. So here are the dry results. Nothing much has changed. They dry, they're drying beautifully. Beautiful gold reflective qualities in, in there. And that transparency, I love it. These Fiona style reverse flower drips are just gorgeous. I love it. Um, and then uh, the second one that I did, where instead of uh, doing the reverse dip, I just um, wrecked it a little more and then spun it out. And I love um, the um, structured lines of it. The violets and the blues together with the gold and the white. It's a classic color combo and I love it. And my balloon dip in the center is gorgeous. Yeah, this turned out really well. So uh, Becky Hardwick's photos, uh, she's one of the Art Lab members. Uh, her photos are coming up next, so stay tuned for that. And then we have an entire train. I have the list in my description box below. And um, yeah, please follow along and check out what everybody did for Earth Day as part of Nate's Art Lab collab. And come back and see us sometime.